For in this video, I'm going to be talking about the VLOOKUP function in Excel. And what VLOOKUP does is it lets you search for something uh, in one place or from one location, look in another location, and then find some corresponding information. A real simple example is I had a, a client tell me one time how they were spending hours uh, filling out this uh, report every week where they would have to uh, they have a list of items and have to put in uh, quantities and then they would have to go and look up the price on another list and fill it in on their other spreadsheet so I couldn't do anything about them having to hand enter quantities because you know, those vary all the time but the prices were a, a perfect use for VLOOKUP and you can say here that we're we're getting this price from this table over here. I'm going to take that out. Now normally, you know, the table that you're looking up in would probably be on uh, on another tab at least, if not another whole worksheet. But uh, for simplicity, I've got them here side by side, and the formula works the same either way. So, VLOOKUP, you can type the whole thing in or you can use the function wizard. I like to use the, the function wizard frequently. You've got uh, four things, or four arguments, they call them, that you need to put in. First thing is the lookup value. Now you could type in a number here if you wanted to always look for 50 or something like that, or you could do text by surrounding in quotation marks. Uh, but most of the time you're going to be looking for the contents of another cell. So in this case we want to look for what's in column A, or, or to be more precise, A2. The table array is where you want to look for data. So uh, we want to look here in, in columns F and G. Now you could select those exact cells, uh, but then if this table grows or shrinks you'd have to adjust that. Or Also, um, when we copy this formula down to the other uh, rows, then this would get thrown off unless we did um, if you put absolute references in there then it would work uh, but my preference whenever I can is just to select the entire columns and uh, you know I find that works better column index number is which column in the table array um, do you want it to pull the result from so in this case we want to we want to find the item ID you know, in this table, and then go to the second column and grab the price from there. So we're going to use column 2, because column G is the second column in the table array. And range lookup, um, you're usually going to use false there. Um, false means that it's going to uh, only give you exact matches. If you use true or left it blank, then it would find the closest match that it can. So I'm going to click OK. And now we can see that it's finding 12 right here as the unit price for gadget B. Now all we have to do is fill that down and we've got prices uh, for all of our items just as simple as that. So VLOOKUP is fantastic. It's one of my favorite functions. It can save you so much time in trying to match up data from, from two different lists. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. There's also a, another function that works basically the same way called HLOOKUP for horizontal lookup if your data is laid out the other direction. But uh, VLOOKUP seems like uh, is what I'm always, always using. So anyway, I hope that uh, helps you and saves you a lot of time.